Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you once again for joining me. My sister recently visited me from California and she asked me if I can do a fill on her. Uh, she got her nails done somewhere in California. I don't know where. So I went on to remove the Swarovski crystals she had on with uh, a cuticle nipper that I have especially to remove crystals. Then I went in with my ceramic bit in my Manny Pro and I removed that gel polish. As you can see, the nails were very, very thick. There really wasn't a need for them to be that thick as they were very short. So I decided to soak up the acrylics and I realized this, guys. Can you see that gumminess? I just wanted to show you this because it's so important that you find out what they are putting on your hands. When the acrylic is gummy, when you're trying to soak it off, it means that they used MMA products. I got so mad at her. And, well, it's not her fault because she doesn't know, but um, you really have to ask what they are putting on your hands. So I went in and I filed them as thin as I could uh, because they had filed her nails so thin, I left a tiny little um, layer of the acrylic. So um, I made her go exfoliate her hands with my favorite Valentino candy scrubs. And when she came back, I um, sprayed some alcohol on each nail just to remove the essential oils because the um, candy scrubs have essential oils on them. And we want those oils on our skin, but not our nails if we're gonna, you know, apply acrylic. So that's why I cleanse them with alcohol to remove any excess oils. So I went on and I prepped them with a Prep and Prime Duo. And then I went on to apply these nail forms. Since she likes her nails short, I don't use a tip because I'm gonna cu cut off most of the tip. There's really no need. So I prefer to use a nail form and she does too. So I'm using this beautiful, beautiful custom mix by Nova Ink. It's Barbie Pink. I am in love with this color. It looks great on any skin tone. Everyone that I've tried this on, it looks amazing. So um, if you guys love it too, uh, my online store will be open this Friday, um, so be on the lookout for that. Um, then I went on to apply one last bead, a little more wet on the cuticle area. Once the acrylic starts to dry, not all the way, but once it starts looking opaque, that's when I go in and I pinch the nail so it can give it strength and that beautiful C curve that I'm looking for. So on the pointer finger, I put Barbie pink on all the nails, but on the pointer finger, I put one thin bead of pink translucent also by nova ink and as you can see very thin okay so after it dried a little bit i went in and i pinched it because i i don't want it to dry when i'm done since i'm going to do different layers by the end when i pinched it i don't want the bottom layer to be dry so that's why i went in and i pinched then i put um nova ink's custom mix glam as the background and then i use this gorgeous mylar that I found in my drawer of glitters. I'm trying to use up everything like I told you guys in one of my last videos that I was cleaning out a glitter drawer and I found so much stuff and I want to I want to start using it. So then I went on to encapsulate and I then went in and I pinched one more time. And now I'm just filing the sides and giving my nail shape and then I go in with my Manny Pro and the ceramic bit. Um, if you guys want to know the bits that I buy down in the description box, I have a lot of cool links, guys, of where I purchase everything that I use. So you can go right ahead and um, check that out. Um, I also wanted to invite you guys to go follow me on my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat. I'm doing a lot of giveaways right now, and I would love it if you guys just stay up to date with me over there. So I'd love to talk to you guys over there. I went on and I put a UV gel and this is the lamp that I use. I have a 70% off code. It's also down in the description box, the link and the code. It's amazing. I love how it works. And then I went on to just put cuticle balm on the cuticle. I hope you guys love them as much as I do. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and live to inspire.